Yo, dude. Want a grilled cheese? Ah, nice pan. It's the Misen nonstick pan. Its nonstick coating lasts two and a half times longer than other nonstick pans that cost twice as much. I've used my Misen pan to make grilled cheese, saute peppers and onions, and I even did a red wine reduction that was tasty. Yeah, but what about the cooking space? You know, most 10-inch pans only offer 8 inches of cooking space. Not Misen. They designed their pan to have 19% more cooking area than other premium cookware pans. Impressive. Now, call me crazy, but isn't that the three-layer DuPont Platinum coating? That's correct. It's DuPont's most scratch and abrasion-resistant nonstick finish. Sheeps. That must cost a bajillion dollars. Nope. With the promo code MANSHORTS, you get 20% off your first order. Whoa. All those features and 20% off? I'm getting one now. Do you want to cut in triangles or squares? Triangles. Unleash your inner chef. Click the link in the description below and use the promo code MANSHORTS for 20% off your first order. Click the link in the description below and use the promo code MANSHORTS for 20% off your first order. Man shorts. For the sake of brevity, we're just gonna combine all of the spellcaster classes into one group. Okay, am am I the only one that thinks that all this spellcaster stuff is just like math homework? You realize math is what put a rover on Mars, right? If you think five E Mage classes are complicated, you should crack open a 3.5 book. All right, races and classes, let's get on with it. I'm a mountain dwarf wizard specializing in graviturgy. Azamara warlock. That leaves the sorcerer. I am Spellbot, a highly magical warforged sorcerer sent here to destroy any life beings weaker than myself. Your story begins in a school of magic. There's a tournament today to determine the strongest magic users in the realm. Ah, excellent. I will prove my superiority in record time. The three of you are standing in a large coliseum esque arena. The crowd roars as your opponent steps out about 100 feet across from you. How much does he weigh? Weird question, but he's 251 pounds. Everybody give me perception checks. 14. Spellbot rolled a 19. 17. Okay, Waylon, you don't notice this detail, but Sarah, you and Lance can see that this is a very muscular man. He's wearing jean shorts and no shirt. Jean shorts. Spellbot is doing its best not, not, not to melt down due to metagame resistances. A booming voice fills the arena. Attention, now entering the arena, the muscle wizard, Sean Gina. Oh, no wonder I can't see him. Roll initiative. 21. 15. 17. Sean Gina goes first. The muscle wizard takes a power stance, cocks back both of his fists, and begins firing magic missiles through the air. This doesn't look good. Waylon, you and Lance are each hit with four missiles. Take 20 damage apiece. Ouch. Sarah, you get hit with three missiles. Take 16 damage. Is this guy supposed to be good? Well, I mean, first it depends on how old you are. It depends on if you watch wrestling a lot or if you- Spellbot, you're up. Spellbot would like to cast Wall of Stone. I assume that this is your attempt to create some separation between you and Sean Gina. Your assumption is accurate. Okay. A large stone wall rises out of the ground. You can no longer see him. Spellbot, might regret this. Sarah? I'm gonna move over to the left of the wall. Can I see him? Based on the angle, you are able to move over far enough to see him. What would you like to do? Eldritch Blast. 23. That hits. Roll damage. It's three beams. 24 damage. That's a cantrip. Wow. Okay, Waylon, you're up. I'm gonna move to the right of the wall and hit him with Scorching Ray. 13. That does not hit. He waves his hand in front of his face as your beams fly all around him. Oh no. It is his turn. Sarah, you and Waylon lose sight of Gina. The three of you snap your heads toward the wall as the muscle wizard breaks through it as if it were wrapping paper. I'm going to ready an action to cast Eldritch Blast if he moves towards me. Yeah, I figured that. Spellbot? Spellbot is... 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 is calculating the best spell to cast. 
Oh, I'm sure this won't take forever. Oh, wait, I know. Spellbot casts Cloud Kill around San Gina. Well, you've lost sight of Gina again. Are you really just going to sit there and spam Eldritch Blast? I am a wordlock. Point taken. Waylon, thanks to the Poison Cloud, you are also unable I to- I can't see him. I get it. I'm going to alter my weight. Sounds risky. What does that entail? I'm going to double my weight. My speed's reduced by 10, but I get advantage on strength checks and saves. Okay, the three of you are watching the poison gas. Sean Gina steps out and into your view. And he makes a con save. Thirty-five damage. Seventeen damage. Anyway, he waves his hand in front of his face again, but this time he actually disappears. Seriously? He cast invisibility. Lance. I can cast True Seeing. What? Yeah, and and you guys should have it too. That's meta. Spellbot would like to cast True Seeing, and then, using his voice, inform his friends that they should cast it as well. I guess I'll do that. Same. Fine. You can all see him, I guess. He charges towards Sarah. Nat 20. Roll your damage. 50 damage. And of course, Gina misses his attack. Spellbot? Spellbot will spend sorcerer points and add a fifth level spell slot. Then casts sleep. So you're casting sleep at fifth level. 99 hit points. All on San Gina. He's asleep. Eldritch Blast. Nat 20. Roll the damage. 38. You gonna finish this mess? I thought you'd never ask. I cast Fireball. It's uh, 70 damage. And even if he halves that, he's dead. Like my dreams. Well, that wraps up the classes. What do you guys want to do next? Actually, I won't be here next week. And maybe the week after that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. What does that mean? I don't want to know. Well, this will give me a line. <laughs> I like what you said there. What did I say? I don't remember. Who are we going after first or something like that? Okay. I like what you did. I don't know what it was, <laughs> but. Oh, yeah. Already rolling. Mm-hmm. I, I, I maintain that it would be hilarious if we act, if humans acted like dogs. If we were just sitting here and I was just like, hey! <laughs> hey! Don't be Jay. Be a robot. Robots don't nod when they do stuff. We're going to move to the right of the wall and. I assume that this is an attempt to create some separation. Separation. What the hell are you doing? Oh no. Ah, Well, where does that voice go? (laughs) He waves his hand in front of his face as your beams hover around the air around him. What? (laughs) Spellbat. 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 And of course, Gina misses his attack. Spellbat. I rolled a one. Woo-hoo. You foolish for ignoring the warning. Now you'll be dead before the morning. You should have looked over your shoulder. You're in the eye of the beholder. I am the tyrant. Get it? I have actually been told that I'm a pretty funny guy. Wait a minute, what were we discussing? I lost my train of thought. Oh, that's right, you were just about to die. How can I forget that? It's my favorite part. The only thing left to consider is where to start. In addition to magical abilities, I'm smart. I can make your demise as art. Anyway.